everybody. Last day on our river trip. Just finished breakfast. Sausage links and hash browns. Uh, they also had egg and some weird casserole dish that I didn't want. So I was the last person down for breakfast. Taking my sweet time getting down, I guess. Putting on my shoes. And my brother decided it'd be funny if he'd come up and rattle my tent and ho holler like a bear or something. The only thing is, it did not scare me one little bit. It just made me think, really? Really? You're coming off like a jackass, but really? We're getting ready to break camp now. We made sandwiches for lunch today because we're not going to be able to stop because there's not any spots to stop off. So I'm going to go pack up and get ready and then we'll be on the river. Life is funny. You never know what to expect one moment from the next. When you're out in the nature, I've learned this lesson all so well. One moment you're sitting in the boat, and then this happens. Oh, there's a deer swimming in the water. There's a deer right there swimming. Yeah. To your left, to your left. He's in my campsite. I was like, look at all, look at all the driftwood, and there's a deer's head. The Green River is truly a sight to behold. One moment you're going through the rapids, looking at the sheer cliffs of beauty, watching the fault lines plunge down, changing the landscape into a calm prairie land of peaceful bliss. One man, one voice. <laughs> well, the fault line dropped down below this fault line, so you're looking at a whole new area. They're getting into some serious wind now, it makes it kind of hard to row. We're getting there. We've stopped off in a little stop off spot here, so we're taking a little bathroom break. We got a little bathhouse out in the middle of the nowhere. We've stopped at the uh, Rainbow Park campground. It's kind of unusual. Grassy hills amongst the mountains in the background. So you guys do separate things? It was odd, but we came across a lone custard plant. I was told that the leaves are poisonous and should not be ingested, while the stalk is the good piece you can eat. Just now leaving the flat water, getting ready to hit the rapids again. Let's do this. This last day on the river, it was particularly cold and windy. I remember huddling behind the dry bags for warmth. Back in 2013, a massive chunk of rock broke free from the cliff wall, plummeting down to the river below. You can still see its path and its destruction. As is always true in life, all good things must come to an end. I had a great adventure, a great time on the Green River. I'd met great people, made new friends, seen things I've never seen before. I was sad to see it go, but I knew that life must go on. With one end brings a new beginning. I'll be looking forward to my next great adventure, never knowing where it'll be or when. But life always finds a way. So this is so where our trip ends. Wood. I'd like to thank y'all for coming along. This is Adam with the Weekend Hiker saying take care, God bless, and keep on hiking.
exciting.